Hey, welcome everybody. Today we're gonna to take a look at a new tool from Topaz Labs, it's called Topaz Photo AI. And it essentially takes three of their prominent and popular tools, which I have, and that would be their denoise tool, their sharpening tool, and their enhancement uh, tool that basically enhances resolution and enlarges photos. They put all that together into one new tool that kind of runs on autopilot. And I think it makes it much easier rather than bouncing between the tools to go ahead and use this in one interface. It analyzes your photos, makes recommendations. Of course, you can still take control and do things, but I think this is really gonna help you do the things that you must do to many of your photos and do it quickly and do it well. So let's take a look. Hi, my name is William Beam. I'm a photographer just like you. And in order to enhance a photo, I thought, what is the crappiest photo of mine that I can probably get? And it's this one right here. This is a picture of me looking very awkward in the year 2000. We're at the Amsterdam Hard Rock. And I got this picture of this waitress named Lisa because she was the best waitress and this was the best restaurant I had during my whole trip to Amsterdam. All I can tell you is that this is the place where I felt like an American again. Everything else, I felt very much out of place in Amsterdam. It was a business trip, so it wasn't really there for fun. And most of the time we were going to another town called Hilversum. And I just really did not adapt very well to European ways, which is funny because I ended up marrying a Scottish wife, but I digress. Anyways, this photograph was taken with a 2000 Nikon E, I think 775 point and shoot camera. So we're talking low resolution, poor quality, everything about it sucks. But you know what? I got a picture and I got a memory. So I've got this in Lightroom and that's Lisa. You can tell perhaps that everything's just a little bit fuzzy. There's a lot of noise in here. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to click on photo, edit in, and I'm going to come down here to Topaz Photo AI. And it's going to ask, you know, do you want to do it with your adjustments? I didn't make any you can do the original or this. It's a JPEG file, so I'm just going to go ahead and say edit a copy. And here's what happens. We get this program that pops up, and I can go ahead and stretch this out a little bit, make it just a little bit larger. Right off the bat, you can see down here it says scanning image. So it started to take a look and say, what's wrong with this? What can I identify in this? And then what can I go ahead and recommend that we use for a fix? I'm gonna go ahead and expand this all the way so we don't have any confusion with the Lightroom interface behind it. So you can see over here that it's identified subject and it says right here, subject detected. If you highlight that, it'll show you where the mask is. Now you can tell that it's missed a couple of things. For example, it's missed her arm. It's missed my shirt, the hair uh, behind her and also my hair. If you want to, you can click on refine and you get a couple of modes here. This default, this is a portrait. So we're gonna go ahead and select that and you can change the sensitivity. You can't brush in what's missing, but you can increase the sensitivity and sometimes the mask will change for you. And that's just really something that you have to look at. Now, I kind of wish that it had gotten her arm and I'll bring it all the way up to 100%, but it didn't really get that. So it's not seeing that. AI isn't perfect, and if it was, they wouldn't need us. But that's okay, there's an opportunity, and I'm gonna just say done, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on done refining the subject. And I think I'm actually happy though with what it did select, because primarily you're gonna be looking at the faces, and it also got her uniform. My shirt is so dark that I don't really care about that so much. So it was looking at the subject, it's enhanced the resolution by three times. Again, this was from a point and shoot camera, in the year 2000, it had very low megapixels. And it also recovered two low quality faces, which I find really insulting, but that's okay. Besides the fact that I find it insulting, I want you to take a look, the original on the left-hand side, you can see how grainy it was. Now take a look at the skin tones, both myself and Lisa on the right-hand side. And it's just done an incredible job of bringing out detail and enhancing those faces from what we had over here. Now, this is just doing the autopilot settings. We haven't even gone into removing noise. We haven't done any sharpening. All it did was change the resolution. It upscaled a little bit. So you can see over here, if we click on this, it said low resolution, and we're going to leave it at that, and recover faces. 
and it did 100% strength. If he thinks it looks a little too bad or maybe a little too fake for what the rest of the photo is, you can pull this back. But I'm going to go ahead and leave this up here at 100. So let's go ahead and try some of these things. We're going to toggle this switch to remove the noise. And down here in the lower left, this is where you're going to see what it's doing. So you can see where it's checking things out. It's letting you know what it's done. And this little, oh, sorry about that. This little blue bar here, when it's all the way done, is how you know it's done. So if you see over here, this wall is very noisy. Now we come over to this view and it's not. We can change this around a little bit. So we can go over here with these little controls down here, whether you want it to be side by side, a uh, split bar like this, so you can kind of see as you roll over, you can see the changes in our faces because this was a very grainy photo and it's really gotten rid of that grain on our faces. And if you look at this wall, it, this section right over here, as I move this over, it's taking that noise right out of it. And same thing, we haven't even touched the sharpening yet, but you can see a bit more sharpening on some of the flare that she has on her uniform. So let's close this one and let's go ahead and toggle sharpen. And it's got a choice between motion blur and lens blur. This one, it detected motion blur because this was a low lit scene. Also, it was a low resolution camera. It was basically, it was a little bit of handshake when the, this photo was taken. So you can see the difference right here on the flare. And I'm going to see if I can't zoom in to 200%, move this up, and just go back and forth. So it's, it's going back and doing the sharpening again since I changed things. So let it think, enhance, and look at that. That is sharp. You can see the detail in there. And it is definitely much more uh pleasant to look at than what we had. If I bring this line back over here, you can see that's what the photo actually captured. So it's done a remarkable job of sharpening. And again, if you look on our faces, you can see all the noise, the skin tone issues. And as I bring it over here, it's sharp. It's clear. I've got a little smudge of something over there on my chin, but that's okay. As I said, this was me in 2000. You can tell that I look a little heavier now. And that's it. This is how quickly and easily you can clean up your photos, you can get rid of noise, even a grungy old thing like this. You can enhance faces, you can sharpen, and you can enhance the resolution on an old JPEG photo like this. I love this program. This is doing a wonderful job. I really recommend it to you. So here's what we know about this so far. That's a little too close. So this was announced September 15th, 2022, and I'm recording this the day after. There is a bit of an early promotion. The software is going to sell for $199. For the early promotion through October 7th, it'll be $159. However, during that period, there is also a promo code, which I will put on the screen and I'll make sure it's in the description below. So if you use that, you'll get another 15% off. And that promo code and the discount that I mentioned to $159 only lasts to October 7th, 2022. So if you're seeing this after that, I apologize. If I get another chance to put up a different promo code at some point, I will. But for right now, this is the best deal you're going to get. And something else to keep in mind, if you already own the package from Topaz that includes the all three products, you get this for free. It'll be something you can just sign into your portal at Topaz Labs, and it'll let you know if you get it for free. If you already own other Topaz products, you can get this for $99. And then if you need to purchase additional seats, you can get that for $99. I believe this comes with two seats. So in other words, if you have a desktop and a laptop, then you can uh, have software for each one. There is a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you're displeased for some reason or it's just not doing what you want to do, that's okay. You got 30 days, you can try it out, and you can get a refund. There's not much on the menu. Now, what I like here is this processor. I have an Apple M1 iMac, so it defaults to auto. I've moved it down here because it's taking advantage of the chip that I've got on this computer. If you're using Windows, there may be different alternatives up here. I don't know because I don't have a Windows machine for that. But basically, you install this. You log into your account. It'll authenticate you and then grant your access. And you can choose 
do you want to allow auto upscaling with the autopilot? In other words, it did upscale this soft, or excuse me, this photograph by default because I've got that set. And I believe that is the default setting. And you can choose uh, which view that you want. And that's it. This is launching from Lightroom. It'll also work with Photoshop. And you can use it as a standalone program as well, too. So if you're not using either of those tools, you can still use this software. All right, that's enough of a look at me at 400%. Let's go back down to 100%. And I hope that gives you an idea what Topaz Photo AI can do for you. What I really like about this is it's doing a lot of the heavy lifting. It's making decisions, and it's doing it quickly. And it's doing a very good job. So this is the kind of thing that you're going to use on many of your photos. I think it's a great tool to have. I recommend it. As I said, I will have a link below. It'll be an affiliate link, which means I'll get a little bit of compensation if you buy from that link. And thank you very much for that. And with that in mind, thank you so much. My name is William Beam from William Beam Photography. If you like this video, please go ahead, click the like button. That lets the YouTube overlords know I've done something right. They'll share this with more people and hopefully it'll give them an idea of what they can do with Topaz Photo AI. Thank you so much. We'll see you again in the next video.